Yes. This is Pushkala and we are going to see what is pre-trained models and how we can use this in transfer learning. So to before going into pre-trained models, we have to know what is training a model first. Why are we going for pre-trained model? So first, let's talk about training a model. So when we talk about training a model or pre-trained model, whatever it is, we are talking about deep learning neural networks. So let's say this is my model. This is my model that I'm going to train it with. So what I'm going to train this neural network with, I'll be using some image data sets. So I'm going to give some input image data sets to this neural networks to learn from the data set. That is what is called training process. Training is nothing but the neural networks is going to learn from some image data sets. And from this, I'm going to do certain tasks like object detection or facial recognition or I can even do image classification. All of this can be done. So for some kind of specific task, I'm going to train my neural network with a set of images. So this is what is called training a model. Avoid this training model. Let's say I'm going to do some simple predictions with the model. You don't have to do all of those these steps. Let's say you just want to figure out whether this is a dog or cat. You don't have big image data set and you will have to give that to a deep learning model. You are going to create a neural network and then you are going to do this certain prediction task, image classification task. You don't have to do that because we have a pre-trained model that can already do all of this. Pre-trained model is nothing but someone else has already trained a neural web network with certain images. And these can do certain image classification tasks. So it will eliminate us training the same thing again. Let's say I want to predict whether the given image is cat or dog. We don't have to do that because someone else has already done numerous image classification, train the model with neural, numerous image classifications. For example, if you want to go through certain pre-trained models, you can go through this. Resnet Kutti, PGG, Inceptions, ImageNet, MobileNet, this is MobileNet, these are some of the pre-trained models that has been already trained with a certain number of classes images. You can just use this uh, trained model to do the predictions. If you want just a simple predictions, you don't have to create an image data set and then create a neural network and then do the prediction. You can just take this pre-trained model and do your prediction and be done with your work. So this is called what we are discussing. This is called pre-trained models. So let's say I have a pre-trained model. I already have ResNet 50. This is a, one of the pre-trained models. It has been trained with thousands of, uh, thousands of classes. That is thousands of categories of images. So let's say I'm doing specifically cat and dog classification and I want the accuracy of that to be more specific, more higher than the others. So my application is mainly concentrating on only the dogs and cats, not other things. So what I can do is I can retrain this model. That is what is called transfer learning. I'll give a certain cat slash dog data set yeah i'll have certain cat slash dog images data set and i'll be retraining this resnet 50 which is a pre-trained model i'll be retraining this 
retraining this and I'll be getting certain uh, image classification of this. So I'll be doing image classification of this. The point of retraining or fine tuning is to get the model to work better for my particular scenario. This is what we call it as transfer learning. So in the pre-trained model, I'm using a certain data set. I'm training the model again to be more specific on a certain task I'm concentrating on. This is called transfer learning. So I hope this is clear. And if you have any doubts, leave it on the comment session. Thank you so much.